So today we're going to take a little bit of a look at the Colt LE6940. Um, this is the first AR-15 I bought. I subsequently also bought an SR-15 and just want to take a look at some of the features of the rifle, some of what I like, um, and a few kind of downsides to some of the features on the rifle. Um, first to get out of the way, a few of the modifications I made to things, uh, nothing too substantial here, but I replaced the A2 grip with a Magpul Myad grip. Um, it's a little beefier than the A2. Um, changed out the stock for an LMT soap mod, which more substantial, it doesn't kind of rattle around. Um, replaced the charging handle with a BCM Mod 4 charging handle. Um, I have an XPS red dot sight here, uh, a Daniel Defense QD swivel mount. Um, there is a QD mount here, but unfortunately it's all the way at the front of the rail um, and it's kind of where you usually, or where at least I put my hand, and so that's no good. Unfortunately they didn't put one back here, and so that's the reason for the Daniel Defense. There is also a battle comp here at the end. Um, I replaced the standard A2 flash hider. This is an absolutely outstanding comp for the money. Even if you ignore money, um, it compares favorably with the triple tap from Knight's Armament, which is much more expensive. And it helps kind of change the recoil impulse a little bit and help, helps keep on target and also reduces the recoil of the system. Um, speaking of recoil, I guess that'll be kind of the first thing I talk about the rifle. So the two, well, the standard kind of Colt rifle, U.S. Army issues the 6920. Um, the 6940 mainly just differs in the upper here, the lower is the same. Both of the rifles are carbine length, which means, you know, they have a bit more recoil impulse than mid-length systems, which have kind of come into the vogue, into vogue in the last few years. Um, the battle comp mitigates a lot of that, um, but it is, you know, some, some would view this as a downside. Some say it's kind of harder on the internals. Um, I don't know that that's really been proven out. Uh, I don't have real concerns about it being a carbine length system. You know, the, the biggest downside to this is with this 6940, the upper is a one piece machined aluminum and the hand guards are part of that. And because it's a carbine length gas system, the handrail is a carbine length. And that means, you know, kind of modern technique is to hold it a little bit further out. If you've seen Magpul, if you've seen Larry Vickers, they hold the rifle far out to kind of manage recoil and that's not really possible on this rifle so that's probably the biggest probably the biggest single downside to this rifle um, if you're looking at this now that said um, I am by no means uh, a particularly great shot or um, that skilled I don't really find it that bothersome to have to hold it a little bit closer I, I don't really see that as too big of a of a downside um, the internal wear on the stuff. I, I don't know that that's really been proven out either. Um, I think you get different opinions on that subject. So the other things I've heard about this rifle that people don't like is this um, flip up, flip, flip down front sight. Some people are kind of bothered by the fact that uh, it doesn't lock in place. You can kind of flip it up, but it's got a pretty good detent here. Um, it's not going to just go down um, without a good deal of force being applied to it. So again, that doesn't really concern me. And even though it's kind of a little bit raised off the barrel here, um, with the XPS, um, when it's flipped down, you will not see it in your sight picture here, so no big deal. At the rear, um, we have a Maytech flip-up uh, rear sight. Uh, again, as with most of this rifle, it's kind of as close as you're going to get to what's issued for U.S. Army. Uh, you know, some complaints about this, this detent not working from people. I, again, have not had any problems. I don't have any real complaints against the sight. The... SR-15 I have has the uh, Knight's Armament Microsite, which most people think is so much better. Um, to me, they're not that different. Maybe that's just a comment on how little I know, but it doesn't bug me. Um, for the rest of the rifle, you know, some of the positives I would say are this upper really feels substantial. It's not actually that heavy of a rifle. I think it's before I made any modifications, I think it was about 6.8 pounds. Um, I don't consider that heavy. Um, it's a bit heavier than the SR-15, but not so much so that I really notice. Um, but it has a kind of nice, solid metal feel to it. The SR-15 kind of feels more like a toy, um, which that's all subjective. I don't know that that really means anything, but you know, you can, it kind of has a nice heft to it. Um, it is stone dead reliable. I've not had a single malfunction with this rifle since I got it. I've, 
I haven't put that many rounds through it, but probably 1,500 to 2,000 rounds through it, and not a single problem. Um, again, you know, the recoil impulse on this rifle is a little worse than some of the mid lengths. Um, with the with the battle comp again, I think that mitigates that. Obviously, that's some extra cost. Um, and the rifle itself is already not, you know, the cheapest rifle you're going to get. It's Colt, so you pay a little bit of a premium there. I think I paid $1,500. Um, Colt has now released the SP6940, which is basically the same rifle, just slightly relabeled. Um, and I think they've adjusted the price a little bit downward. So I think, I think you might be looking at $1,300 for an SP940 versus this LE940. Uh, there's no internal differences. And I think that's pretty competitively priced with other rifles. Again, you know, the 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 only real downsides to the rifle, I think, are the the length of the handguard, um, which doesn't bother me too much. The carbine length gas system, again, that doesn't really bug me. Um, it's debatable about reliability and and uh, you know the recoil of, on the 5.56. Five, if anyone's complaining about that, uh, they got bigger problems. Um, you know, you, you can quibble about the quality of the the flip up sights on it. But all in all, uh, a really solid rifle. I have no complaints. Um, you know, there are times when I go to the range, I take the SR-15 and the Colt, and I find myself shooting the Colt more. Um, you know, that, that's not a negative comment in the SR-15, which is an absolutely outstanding rifle, but this, this compares really favorably.